Hello guys, how are you today? I am Flash Isaac. Welcome to WAEC Topics with Flash Isaac. As today I will be taking you through WAEC Integrated Science syllabus and hot topics to read. Now, if you are writing WAEC, you will be wondering the hot topics to cover in WAEC so that you get your A's or B, depending on the grade you need. But I know that you need nothing less than A in WAEC. Now, integrated science is a subject that integrates, that combines theory science subjects which are biology, chemistry and physics. If you are writing integrated science in WAEC, that means your syllabus will cover a little bit of chemistry, a little bit of biology and a little bit of what? Physics. And the syllabus is to restrict you on what to read. You are not to cover every subtopic in physics. You are not to cover every subtopic in biology and you are not to cover every subtopic in chemistry. So, the syllabus will now streamline the parts you are going to read. Now, let me take you through why integrated science syllabus for you to see what you are to read. And anything that needs explanation, I will quickly explain to you. Now, take a look at the why integrated science syllabus. Now looking at the integrated science syllabus, <coughs> the first thing you should know is diversity of matter, which are the concept of integrated science like I've already explained to you. It's a science that covers biology, chemistry and physics, the scientific method, safety, uh, measurements, uh, physical quantities, characteristics of living things, the movements respiration, nutrition, and other characteristics of living things. They are very important for you to know in integrated science. Then, classifications of living and non-living things. Then, you know things like kingdom, phylum, class, order, and vertebrate, invertebrate animals, uh, backbone, spinal cord, coordination, like uh, then matter, types of matter, branches of matter, change of states. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Mass is the quantity of matter in a, in, a, in a material or a body. Weight is the earth pull on that body. Mass change the, uh, mass doesn't change anywhere, but weight can change. The matter can change from one state to another, from solid to liquid. That means when the solid melts, it becomes liquid. Then when the liquid gets freeze, uh, when it gets frozen, it becomes uh, solid. Then solids can go to gas directly without passing through the liquid state. And that's what we call sublimation. The example is think camphor, ammonium, chloride. So all these stops about matter. You need to know them. There are basic uh, theories of matters and atomic theories. Those are part of the things you should know in integrated science. Right, look at something else you need to know. Now an atom has nucleus, and it has electron, it has proton, it has neutron. Proton is the positive charge, electron is negatively charged, Why neutron is neutral, it doesn't have charge. So inside the nucleus, you have proton and neutron, Why outside the nucleus, electron, it revolves around the atom. So the number of the electron is because it's the atomic number. Atomic number is the number of electrons in the atom. Why the number of proton and neutron in the nucleus of the atom is what makes up mass number. Now, some atoms can have the same atomic number but different mass number. That's what we call isotopy. Why some can have the same mass number but different atomic 
number. They are what? Isobars. Good. You know about skeletal systems, reproductory system, respiratory system, food and nutrition, classes of food and food substances. You know about uh, reproduction, fertilization, the circulatory system. Then energy, forms of energy and transformation of energy from one form to another. So energy is actually the ability or capacity to work. We have different types of energy. We have heat energy, electrical energy, chemical energy, solar energy. So energy can be transformed also from one form to another. For example, your ion, pressing ion, it converts electrical energy to heat energy. I think even the bulb, bulb converts electrical energy to light. Thanks for watching, subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this.